Hello everyone, welcome back for another image manipulation video. And today we're going to check out how to um, take an image and make it a negative. So inverse it. Alright, so let's save our file first. Um, uh, video 3, let's call it negative.py. Okay. So now that you guys know all the basics on how to load an image, get your file, and so on, we're, we can start moving a little faster. So, now let's um, make a new function, let's call it negative, sure. And it takes an image as a parameter, because that's what we want to make. And here's going to be the new bit. Um, I'm going to make a copy of this image so that we don't change the original image as it's going through this function. So we call it copy, or yeah, copy equals, and there's a new function called uh, make duplicate, if I can find it, uh, duplicate picture, I think it's called, and as you can see over here, uh, duplicate picture, it takes a picture object, the picture you want to duplicate, and returns a new picture of the same image as the original. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, we can close this off and pass in a picture object as a parameter. So this will just avoid changing the original image as it goes through this function. So uh, before I forget, let's just return that uh, copy. Okay, so we want to do essentially what we want did last time, which was uh, loop through our pixels, um, make a new color where that's going to be, and then uh, set the color and then again last step we already did is return the picture. Okay, so we can cross this one off and I already know the rest of my head. So for a pixel in get pixels and make sure this is not capitalized so we're going we're getting all the pixels of an image which image this picture image so picture which colon tab and which is odd about uh, js is that the tabs are actually just two spaces instead of four so uh you might need a little getting used to that but if you just press tab uh, like I always do, it just arranges it for you, so you don't need to worry too much about it. Okay, now we're at making the new color um, step. And the way to make a negative image is it's always uh, the inverse. So it's always going to be whatever red, green, and blue value you have, minus 255. So... Um, we're going to want to make a new color. I'm just going to call it negative. Negative color, sure. So we need to equal to uh, make color. Remember, make color takes a red, green, and a blue value. <coughs> but to make the inverse, instead of just passing in the original red, green, and blue value, we're going to want the inverse of that, which is 255 minus red, uh, 255 uh, minus green, and 255 minus blue. Okay, um, so what we can do is say red is going to uh, get, oh, oops, 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 I put get twice, get red. And uh, our pixel px, our green is going to get green, 
when our blues get blue of our pixel <coughs> and our negative color will be created and then what we need to do is again actually set a new color for this pixel using the set color function so set the color of a pixel uh, of a pixel to a color the color is going to be our new negative color or inverse color if you want and our the pixel we want to set that color to is this current pixel we're looping through. Now let's load a program and let's test this baby out for bugs and stuff that I might have missed. Okay. So our picture. So we need to go to make picture. And instead of making a path and so on, we can explicitly pass pick a file through here. So you're just saving time by doing this. And let's find our uh, image. So JS images image number two. And let's show this image. Oops. I put an uh, extra bar if you saw right here. So this is actually an image of I think, the moon crashing into the earth. It's pretty cool. Now we want to run it through our function negative uh, up here. So um, negative equals uh, we call it negative pick. Not get confused. Negative, and we pack, pass in our picture image up here. We let that load. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can show our negative picture. Um, which actually did not work at all. Um, let me see what could have went wrong. Okay, I see what's going on. Um, we're actually looping through our picture right here while we should be looping through our copy because we're returning the copy, not the picture. Okay, so that was a quick, that was a little error you guys might encounter once in a while. Reload the program and hold on, let me. Uh, Okay, pull up more. Okay, now reload that function and show you a negative picture, um, which is right here. Check it out. It looks pretty awesome compared to uh, this one right here. So, guys, um, thank you for watching and I'll hope to see you guys next time.